Back at Kinnick Stadium, sold out for the 15th ranked Iowa Hawkeyes against the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Iowa looking for its sixth win of the season. Penn State looking to snap a three-game losing skid. And as you take a look at the Big Ten standings, you can see several teams already bowl eligible. Iowa would hit that mark today with a win. Penn State simply needs to win to even have a chance. That's the story right now with Michigan State. It's become the sunshine of the day. It's 43 degrees. Iowa won the toss. They will receive as they have done 50 times in 56 games under Kirk Ferentz their head coach as Penn State kicks off and this one's out of the back of the end zone. So the Hawkeyes defensive aggressiveness to the offensive team Brad. We'll watch that as we watch the Iowa offense go to Ramona Charlie. So a first down from the 34 and here's the delay to Russell. Fred trying to bust it outside and now changes direction and he has a little bit of room to work with. Still he's brought down after Rice, Holly, Alford and Chisley across the front wall. Chisley a good pass rusher. The linebacker Coles and Wake on the outside. Gino Capone's a number three tackler in the Big Ten. And in the secondary, pretty good secondary right now. Zemitis, we talked about him. Harrell, Israel and Gardner in Zemitis' Big Ten season. Third down and long now and Chandler will work from the shotgun. Nathan's got plenty of time way over the head of his intended receiver and it's intercepted by Yaakov Israel and he's coming back the other way and Penn State comes up with a turnover something they haven't been able to come up with this year they came in he scripts two through 15 Robinson back to throw streaks it down the middle trying to get it to his huge tight end Purdue. there's his numbers on the season neither quarterback very good in the completion percentage as a unit between he and Zach it's right about at that 45 percent mark and as Bob would say that ain't good. Well, that's not not good. Second down and 10 at the Iowa 40 trying to take advantage of the interception straight up the middle they go with a fullback for Penn State. They lost so much last year experience wise on the line. Levi Brown's going to be a good one. Rush Coslo Reed and McKelvey the front wall. Ricky Upton starting at tailback. McHugh, we just saw the fullback carry it. Lukak, the tight end. They'll use two tight ends a lot. Smith and Humphrey, the two guys that Swanee talked about, the wide receiver. There is Humphrey, the guy they hope to get it to. A big play. DB, now receiver, and they're going to him. Just overshot him near the goal line. Kapanos, the left footer, trying to tail it over to the far side, and it's going to be down at about the four-yard line. Nice job. To the near side. Russell sets up in his own end zone and he'll get the call broke one tackle bounced out. Penn State looking to blitz here they, and here they come Chandler trying to keep it himself he saw it coming there is no quarterback draw there's a quarterback drop there was, um, jumped out in front of Indiana great field position for uh, Penn State early in the ball game well, there it went there it went <laughs> Didn't yeah, last. Back to the 42. Now Robinson just a direct snap has an option trailer but he'll keep it and he got blasted. Third down. Third down still and long at nine. Robinson plenty of time running out of it. He's going down again. This time dropped at the 45. And they're going to run behind him right now on first down. Russell trying to pop it the other way again. And again Penn State's there to meet him though. He he said he just loves the contact. They're hitting people, and Fred Russell likes the contact. Another blocker. Things could get hairy before the day's over, as you see from Robert. They'll run behind him again, and Russell into the secondary. Get your feet out of the hole for the running back to get through. Chandler rolls off play action, throws out in the flat, complete. Going to be right near the. <laughs> There's not much denying that. At the 42, it's a first down. Two tight ends set for Iowa. Nice play fake by Chandler. Might want it all. Going deep. And Gardner had a better play on the ball than anybody else. Right. You saw Tom Bradley, their defensive coordinator. Chandler deep. Great catch by Tony Jackson. For the first time today on a second and seven. Here's the stretch play to Russell. Little delay. Fred still on his feet. Two tight ends. It's Russell. Delays. Now tries to cut outside. Can he get to the corner? Yes. Touchdown, Iowa. Their flag. Flag down in the backfield. Rothwell, I think the center is a guilty party. Now it's first and goal, Iowa at the 13. Chandler wants to throw a slip screen and it's intercepted. Yakov might take it all the way to the Cove. Israel's going the distance for Penn State. His second interception, this one's a touchdown. That's a backbreaker for the Hawkeyes. 
You had a touchdown the play before. You get holding, you back it up, and now you got seven points the other way. That's a 14-point swing. Noah had only made one mistake. This is it. Chandler, Yaakov Israel takes it over 80 yards for the Penn State touchdown. Into the backfield. He doesn't know it's a slip screen. <laughs> he found out right there. <laughs> he was the su most surprised guy. The problem was Chandler, the quarterback, turned his back from the left side where he was going to throw it. And then when he came back, he may be in there. Brian's been getting a lot of snaps in practice, so we might see a greasy, not in number 12, though. He can't wear that one. Here's Fred Russell. Cut. Whoa! Cartwheeled out on the corner by Zemitis. Take the next step. He's doing everything too much by the book. Today he's made three beautiful tackles over on that spot on the field against Russell. This time Russell won't even get to Zemitis as he'll lose it. Somebody that just has your number, whether the, it's the color or whatever it is. Third down and 11. Chandler all day to throw. Finally down the middle and it's incomplete. Third start for Penn State in Iowa territory at the 46. They give it off on the ground to Upton. And Ricky got to classy family. Yes, very much. And Joe was kind of trying to talk about what the Johnson family is, Matt. He didn't mean to make light of the fact that uh, Tony shouldn't have been doing what he was doing. Fumble picked up. Abdul Hodge. Hodge down the sidelines. Got a chance to take it. He's cut down at the 15. But Iowa's got its first big turnover of the day. Personal foul. Late hit. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Still Iowa. part of that 49 yard return. Still Iowa sets up at the Penn State 30. Russell reverses his field and got back to about the line. For touchdown. Second down and eight. Here's Russell again and he finds a seam. Fred Russell knocked out of bounds. Three wideouts here for Nathan Chandler on a second down and 10. Achoa in motion into the slot. Chandler rolls oh, that God. way and fires and it's a one hopper. Chandler waiting now going to the end zone and it's caught at the one the two yard line and there's one of the guys Swanee was talking about Warren Holloway I don't good throw Holloway gets up and catches it yeah, it looks like he may have got yep. his foot in right bounds. foot got down here's a quick toss out and a touchdown Iowa complete to Malloy just a quickie pass out to his wide receiver. What Iowa did. Yeah, well, tip, tip your hat to Ken O'Keefe, the offensive coordinator. Blocked extra point. And Penn State still got a play on the ball. Picked up, trying to lateral it, and can't find anybody to give it to. Us. They have one yard of offense in nine plays, no first downs, but they lead. Now they got more yardage now. Tony Hunt now in a tailback. And he'll get the call. And Hunt works it across. Down and four. Let's see if Zach has his first throw in about three weeks. Nope, he'll tuck it and run. And slides down. I don't know. Close. Here's the stretch play to Russell. Fred looking for a lane. And he gets into Penn State. Too. Chandler waiting again. Now he's got some room to run. Chandler has got a first down. And he stays inbounds. Finally run out. Hawkeyes. Trying to find the lead. Well, the audible's called St. Louis. We know that much. And that was that was Kansas City, I think. Set to deliver out of the shotgun, it appears. Penn State showing blitz. And they will come with a delayed blitz. Chandler rifles it down to the 12-yard line. To the 11. Here's a stretch play to Russell. Russell had a little seam in front. Iowa looking to take the lead. For the first time today, that might get it for him. Touchdown! Ramon Ochoa into the end zone, and the Hawkeyes in front. Three to give Iowa the 13-6 lead, and now they'll go for two. Bradley didn't get there. Bradley, the holder. Zach Mills running the option, and Zach will keep it again. Well, that knee must feel pretty good. Second down and a yard, Mills to throw. And fires it out, Humphrey's got it, first down. After yeah, and you didn't even mention the offensive line that's not there. Zach has been a good runner. He's not as lightning in the bottle as Robinson. There's a good throw out to Smith, and Smith trying to break a tackle. Smith in motion on a second and seven. 
And Mills again. Option this time the pitch to the trailer McHugh. McHugh bounces off one guy but not the second. I would mention it's probably Bob Sanders. Another big hit by the little guy in the secondary for Iowa. Forces a third and nine. Mills rolls to throw. And comes up complete out near midfield. But he missed on a two-point fake extra point conversion. That's why we've got the 12-7 score. And the hit, it's on the 26-yard line. Russell hit in the backfield. Nice hit by Tom Bahali. Off the block of the center and get the penetration. And forces a third down and long, third down and 12. Chandler had it batted down before that one ever got going. Yeah, the early action today and a look ahead to what's coming up in our doubleheader. Mills back to throw again. Scrambles out of trouble. Oh. And he got a little bit. from third and long, it seems, in this half. And a third and 13 here. Mills oh, throws God. it out quickly. Nowhere to hide for Humphrey. Has been pretty steady with his returns today. Low snap, handled well. Nice high spiral. Good kick. Achoa takes it to 33, and he's planted right there in his tracks by Calvin Lowry. University of Chicago. So that was a Big Ten school back in those days, University of Chicago. Here's Nathan Chandler. Second good run for the big quarterback today. Got about eight. Third down and two at the 40. Penn State kind of faking blitz, and now they are going to come with it. Chandler stands in it, though, and got it to Achoa down the middle. For a long field goal if Iowa can't find another way to score. Now Chandler is getting pressured. Oh, Bob called that one. Side, that's 94, that's Wake. He gets around the, the uh, tackle. Just the coverage just made the quarterback hold the ball a little longer. And your face has kicked the football. He's kind of that way. Chandler on third and long. Fires complete. Now there is going to be maybe a take a knee. And as Bob said, let it go, what let they've it go, done let it. is not play well at all on offense, but still are one play away from being in front. And that's sometimes the way you got to play it, close to the vest, and they did. So 12-7, our halftime score. Iowa, couple of touchdown passes, short ones from Nathan Chandler. The interception by Penn State, their only score. 12-7 at halftime. We'll be back with the Capital One Halftime Show right after this message and a word from our ABC stations. You're watching ABC Sports. We wait on Nate Kading's kick. And Nate got his leg into it well. It'll be three yards deep, and they won't return it. Side for Penn State, Bob, and there's not much to talk about. No, it's not pretty. Uh, 0 for 6 on uh, third down conversions, only 23 plays to 43 plays. Uh, not a lot of rushing yards, passing yards. There's, They had six possessions. Five times they were three and out. The other time they fumbled it. Series in that first half, but as Swanee said, it's Zach to start the third. Nice play fake, wide open, tight end. Mike Lukak down the sideline, and he's brought down to his play of the day for the Nittany Lions, 19 yards. Here's the toss to Tony Hunt, and Tony still isn't down. <laughs> Mills scrambles and throws incomplete. Coming up. Trying to put some pressure on him, and they block it. And this might be an Iowa touchdown. Picked up by Roberts. Hawkeyes in the end zone. Chad Greenway blocked it. A broken leg suffered last week. Tony Hunt, the tailback behind McHugh in the eye. They fake it to him, and Mills on play action throws out, and finally they get it to Franchick. They do on the outside. Might as well use him as decoys and set up the big tight end. On third down, Mills. Fires complete, and this is a first down to Humphrey. This on Chris, second and nine. Mills got a safety valve out in the flat. That's Hunt, and he's put down by Sanders. That's kind of what Bob's got. That's a good point. That's a good comparison. Zach Mills, plenty of time, and now wide open is Kranchik at midfield and into Iowa territory, down to the 45-yard line. Now he's a tight end who can't block, so. You know, when he's in there, you suffer with his run blocking. On the run, it's going to be Austin Scott, the freshman for the first time today. And he got it to the 40-yard line. From the 39, Zach keeps it off the shotgun and the play fake. And got four out of nine on the year. they got to have this one. McHugh again. This time he got just enough. 
Mills scrambling through the pocket. Nice open field tackle. By Mills, quick drop, slant, broken up. Intended for Humphrey. Longest this year, 47, is career-long 51. This is a 50-yard field goal attempt. The kick on the way. And no good. Going into a slug of the quarter for Iowa. Fred Russell, who had a good first half, off the left side. Nothing lead. Finally, Ohio okay, State okay. rushing the ball and have put more season offense. most wins in school history. Well, he's won 19 of his last 24 games after that uh, slow start. Chandler off play action, the deep out, wide open to Choa. Inside the Penn State 35. Nice play fake by Chandler. Now rolling to throw, and again it's a Choa. Almost Shot looking to add to it. Back to Fred Russell they go. Fred trying to change okay, direction, okay. and not this time. Scott Patton's a five-yard face mask defense. Five yards on the previous spot. First and five now with the penalty. And Cervantes the fullback. And the fullback gets a little sugar. In the field. Second and goal just outside the four. Here's the stretch play to Fred Russell. Russell puts his head down. He's barely two. Chandler hides behind his offensive line. On the quarterback sneak for the touchdown. Still Third straight start at their 20 or worse. This one from the 20, the play action, and there's Kranchik down the sideline. Kranchik weaves his way through traffic all the way to midfield. Same. He's just going to take a slow block and then take off. See, he's blocking, run play action. Now he sneaks out. Good play action, good timing. Penn State's got a few of these good plays in them. They just need to have more of these. That ball to Kranchik. I like him more I see him. He's got three catches for 58 yards. Mills on a double pump. Looking for a flag, and this time they're going to pass interference. Defense. Somebody take charge. Second and eight. Mills trying to sneak it into Kranchik. Zach's 11 of 17 for 109 yards. Here comes number 18. And it's almost intercepted by Bob Sanders. Hunting time Both for Penn guys, State. Kapanos lays it up, and it's going to be down inside the five. Nice play. Very nice play. And it certainly don't want to give him a free five yards away from him. Cervantes, a fullback. Fumble. Penn State's going to be able to cover it at the 25-yard line. Bozlesny is the guy that covered it. Cervantes had a good thing going and coughed it. ...of the game. Here's the runner right here. It's there's one hit, and there's the second, and there's Zemitis. the strip. It's Zemitis. Alan Zemitis ripped it out of there. Cervantes, a bull, maybe should have gone down there, but he was still taking people with him. You can't blame him for trying to get extra yardage, but a great... Job of stripping it out by Zemitis. So as Bob said, Penn State's got it at the 24. Pump fake. Oh, Mills wants it all. Corner of the end zone for Smith. And he overshot it. And a quarter and change left here. Penn State needing points badly. Flare out to Austin Scott. Down the sideline. Nice move. The youngsters inside the 10. He's in. Touchdown. Great run. Absolutely showing the future of the Penn State backfield right there. That's the way he ran through the uh, high schools in Penn State, in Pennsylvania. Bills to Austin Scott, and here it is. Zach should have hit the touchdown pass on the first play of the drive. Now he comes back and dumps it off, gives Scott an opportunity to do something with his ability, and he makes something of it. As you mentioned, this is, this is the future of Penn State running right here. Five guys miss. One, two, there's a... Attempted tackle for three. There goes four, five as Sanders trying to come in and then finally into the end zone. Iowa. More often than that. Here's Fred Russell up the middle, kind of hiding behind his offense. Second down at 12 here. Iowa Chandler falling down and the ball's loose, isn't it? The ball was loose and they got back on top of it. Head runner, but sometimes in the pocket with that size and those big feet and all those linemen, he gets tangled up sometimes back well, there. Well, he gets stepped on. The, the center, a lot of times, as soon as he gets it, he wants to snap the ball and step back. And he's still shotgun. Penn State like a big defensive play here. Chandler's got a wide open fullback, though. Cervantes banging his way across.
across the 30, and he's got a first down at the 30. And a good execution by Cervantes. And an eighth conversion on 13 third down attempts. And now Fred Russell back to the ground. Uh, total. Third and short. Russell again. And these fight guys wear those every week, in case you don't watch Penn State football. Here's Austin Scott. And Scott, nice run. The dogs don't want to let what Virginia Tech had happen to them. Zach Mills, option keeper, dragged down from behind. High punt. Achoa waiting on it. He'll take it at the 27 and gets buried at the 30. I like that. All decade team. He was a good player. Yeah, he was. That was his brother. Here's Fred Russell on first down. Fred gets it out near the 30. Second down at three, Iowa. Russell diving up the ball came loose at the end of the play. Chandler play action of a bootleg. Yeah, he's looking at, no, he doesn't keep it. He throws it at the last second. Get rid of it. The Big Ten in this game. Second down, ten. Here's that stretch play to Russell, and Russell had a little seam going to Derek Wake and not take any plays off. Third and five. Here comes a blitz on Chandler. Got rid of it, and it's incomplete drop by Tony Jackson. Tony Jackson, they needed in a hurry, or this one's going to be two and six on the season. Let's Zach go, Mills, go. deep ball, and he's got Humphrey out there, and he overshot it. Humphrey just couldn't find it over his shoulder. Javon Johnson, outside linebacker position right now. Third down and 11. Mills wants to go deep. Double coverage. Humphrey's out there. It's incomplete. That's just down and Allen. We're waiting for First just down Iowa now. They still have good field position despite that illegal block on the punt return. Here's Fred Russell. And Fred got the corner. Today against Wake Forest that he would, uh, for the first time, take the coaching lead in Division One In one game. A kid named Paul Gans. Four interceptions in a game. Russell drops. Fred Russell, no game today. Down to the last six minutes of this ball game. Penn State needs a turnover, or this one's going to be in the books as a loss. Malloy, who caught a touchdown pass in the first Iowa. He's a local product. Third down. Here comes a blitz again from Penn State, but this time Iowa picks it up. But they wait too long, and Chandler. Oh, oh that's dangerous. Boy, that's dangerous. He's moving the pocket without really wanting to. It's just in the back <laughs> of his mind a little bit. Nice punt. Great punt, great coverage. Good special teams, good, good coverage. We'll see how they do tonight, I guess. We'll see you tonight on my mornings. Fumble. Bad exchange Let between the center and Zach Mills. Three wide outs for Mills, Zach from his own end zone. Kranchik has got it, but they've got him. It's Take a good lead time. with a little over three minutes left at the Penn State 38-yard line. Fred Russell. Straight up the middle. The third team ever to beat Joe Paterno four straight times. That just doesn't happen either. Here's Cervantes. The fullback didn't get the back first to 95, and now it's cut back to 85. So that's from 105 to 85 scholarships. That's 20. Penn State can't stop the clock anymore. Cervantes, the fullback again. And he has wrapped both arms around that ball. period of time. And, okay, uh, let's go. He's going to be a, he is a, a great football coach and is going to be a very good football coach for a long time. No doubt. Today, our Chevrolet players of the game. A guy that led the way to Fred Russell's career high in carries for Iowa, Robert Gallery, a big left tackle, the All American, Yaakov Yisrael with two interceptions, one return for a touchdown for Penn State. In recognition of their effort, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. So that wraps it up from Iowa City. The big fella and his troops go to six and two on the season, two and two in the Big Ten. Final score, Iowa wins it 26 to 14. For Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan, Brad Nessler for our ABC crew from Iowa City. So long. Let's join John and the gang. Times Square Stadium in New York, fellas.